Good afternoon, everybody. Happy Monday. It is my first Monday in the new crib, so I'm very excited to get a fresh week started. Um, excuse the noise in the background, the dryer is just doing a round of clothes. I think it should be finished soon, but I just got some Amazon deliveries in, so I wanted to unbox them with you guys. Excuse the attire, I'm obviously on my day off, so I'm just kind of lounging at the moment. Um, but let's open this box as soon as we know what this is. So, I got myself a new kettle, it's by the brand Breville, Breville. Um, and it comes in this nice cream colour. Um, because so basically, one of these taps um, is supposed to be like a hot water tap. I'm sorry, this thing is getting so loud. Six minutes, guys, bear with me. <laughs> Um, so one of these taps is supposed to be like a hot water tap, but I can't figure out how to get it to work. So, and I love like a classic cup of tea, so I thought, let me just bite the bullet, get a nice new kettle. Um, so I will link these bits down below just in case you want to purchase a similar model. Um, yeah, really nice. Um, keep the manual. Provided it works, I don't think I need to keep the box. Ooh, look at that. Um, I had my last kettle for about maybe like I moved out for the first time after uni. That's another item. So I moved out for the first time after uni, I think back in 2012, 2013. So I had my last kettle for about eight years, seven, eight years. So yeah, it was definitely time for a change. So here's the new one. That's what it looks like. Um, I'm gonna give it like a rinse. And then I'm gonna let it do, I'm gonna let it do like one boil, I think, just so that we can clear out the water. This is just to like clean out the kettle. It's basically like an electronic lighter, um, but I really just got it for my cans to be honest. Um, but I like the fact that it is USB chargeable, so it comes in a flat box. Use a manual. Looks like this, and it comes with a pen bag like that. Um, these are all Amazon purchases, by the way, guys. So it looks like that, and then you can kind of bend it, like if you've got like a candle that's like really um, where the wick is like really low down in the pot, then you can just get right in there. So this is bendy. And then I guess this is the USB charger. It's kind of like the old iPhone chargers, which is cool. Oh, and then you just plug it into a socket. So, oh, OLED Wolf. So that's the thing. Let's test it. So yesterday in As the Living, I bought this candle holder. So let's see if it works for this bad boy. Yay! So we are lit, so I'm going to let that melt down. Ah, yes. That was smaller than I thought it would be. Okay, so then I got, let's lift you guys up, I got this plant pot from Amazon because I have a potted plant over here, which I need to repot um, and basically getting some natural light so that's what the little fella looks like um you can see some little things starting to sprout here which is good um, but yeah i'm going to transfer the soil into here hopefully it's enough it's a bit dry i'm going to water her and then i think i'll pop her outside so let's do that now Okay, 
so I've made like a real mess here but okay so I've kind of gone a bit rogue here so I've cut that stalk off because there was quite a bit of it just giving her a fresh water I'm gonna take her out onto the balcony because I think that she's gonna grow a lot nicer like this now I am a new plant mum <laughs> not a very good one I don't have green fingers so this is gonna be a work in progress I'm gonna see how she gets on and put her in the spot of the best sun she's right here So now we have one final item to unbox, which you guys will know is the Nutribullet, but I thought I'd just give you a view of. I feel like it's a her because now the pot that I've put her in is very feminine. So guys, if you've got any name suggestions down below. For my little girl, please let me know. She's just had the snip, so <laughs> I think she needs something to keep her going. But anyway, ooh, let me think of that. Um, Nutribullet, so first time Nutribullet owner. I've had blenders before, but this is the first um, Nutribullet I've owned. I've heard great things, seen great things on YouTube, so um, it seems like a YouTuber staple. Like all of the YouTubers have Nutribullets, so I wasn't gonna pick anything that I didn't know or that didn't come with really good reviews. We've got some recipe books here user guide Ooh. wow this is a lot of packaging eco friendly right? so it comes with the nutri bullet itself oh this is the magic bullet nutri bullet magic bullet 600 series. I will link all of these down below. There will be um, Amazon affiliate links, but everything I've got pretty much today is from Amazon. So that's what the base looks like. Um, and then this is what the blade looks like. So that is, I think, like goes on the lid maybe. Yeah. And then this looks like a jug that you can either, nope, this is probably just for putting your smoothie in, but this looks like the one that the rotator cup goes on. I'm not sure. This is so confusing. I should read the instruction manual. Who does that? Ah, here we go. Okay, cool. So that's that. And then I think that sits on there like that so there we have it neutral bullet also so we've got the tea station sorry tea and smoothie making station um all items will be linked down below in case you want to purchase but yeah i thought i would just unbox some things that came for me today um i thought a nice way to celebrate and moving into the new place is with new life i've had the plant since my last place but i didn't like pot it properly i like could have been taking better care of it so i really want it to grow here because that would be a little project for me so like you know grow a, a living thing so that'll be good and now i've got the outdoor space that i want to be in um i'll make sure to water that every day um and yeah probably more deliveries coming next month um just because i've reached my spending limit for this month <laughs> so yeah i'll probably do a few more orders and get some new bits in i still need to get a tv stand as well as a bookshelf um and potentially a coffee table but i'm still debating on whether or not i need that so yeah um that is all for now so i just found loads of lost footage on my phone um sorry on this camera on this memory card which for some reason i couldn't find when i was editing the last vlog so what you'll probably see next is some clips from me at the old house just cleaning up and clearing out um and just doing like the end of tenancy clean and stuff um but yeah i've got a rare day off so i am using it to obviously unbox my bits um and yeah get settled in a bit more chill out and i'm gonna put the kettle on have a cup of tea 
um, before I get some lunch. Um, so I actually got some uh, lemon and ginger, sorry not lemon and ginger, green tea with lemon and peppermint tea. So I'm just gonna do a little cocktail and um, take that to bed with the candle and just chill there for a bit until lunch. Good morning guys, I've just got up. I've literally just showered, thrown some clothes on, um, just some like, what are these called? Um, gym leggings from Nike, this top from, I don't even know where. Um, I'm gonna rock my Yankees cap because there's gonna be a lot of box lifting today. Um, I'll just give you a look around my room. Um, it is very, very empty and very echoey as well. Nothing on the walls. Um, anything that you see is kind of being taken by the removals company. And um, yeah, uh, they are coming in about an hour. So what I'm gonna do is put all my like valuables in my car. So I'll take those and um, like leave all the heavy stuff for them. I also wanna give the bathroom a quick spritz and do a quick hoover before they get here. Um, Cause once they do, they're gonna start loading stuff in and then we're just gonna go straight away. So, let's do this. it's gonna be um, so on to removing some of this stuff outside Yeah, I was pretty much ordering takeaway. So um, yeah, this is all my sister's stuff, um, which will be cleared out when she is on the move. So I'm ready for these guys. So I'm just gonna wait watch them load the stuff into the car. So what I'm taking, this chest of drawers, these curtains, the bed, the headboard, this table, the mirror, the hoover, um, my bag obviously, take that in the car with me. And then in here, taking the sofa, all of these boxes, that suitcase, that bag, these boxes, the rice, chair, desk, and this cup of water, which I need to finish. 30 seconds. Okay, so this is the empty living room. The sofa is gone. This is a bit of a faff to get it out of here. You wouldn't believe it. <laughs> I told you, the bedroom, pretty much empty. And we've got the wall brackets off the wall as well. Um, I need to do some painting because the paint samples that came are not the right color. Um, but yeah, pretty much all done in here. Um, needs a thorough cleaning. Good morning guys and happy Tuesday. I have pretty much just got set up for work for the first time here. Um, got all my emails, my glasses, 
everything's set up to catch up as I've been off for two days and I'm going to be putting the Nutribullet to the test. So I'm going to have a smoothie. I've got this green smoothie mix from Aldi. So it's got a mix of spinach, kale, mango and apple. I've got the four berry medley as well, which has got raspberries, strawberries, blackberries and black currants. And then I've got some bananas over here. So I've got a banana. And then I'll probably also put in some natural yogurt as well so um trying to eat more clean oh you know what let me put in some blueberries as well fresh ones trying to eat a little bit more clean and um yeah get back in good eating habits because this isolation body is not is not is not for me <laughs> so yeah let's make some some eating. some almond milk um, just to soften it up a bit so it can blend easier I don't want to do it productive Tuesday um, these are my digital screen glare glasses from I buy direct who I collaborated with maybe a, a few years ago now I think it was back in 2016 17 um, but yeah these are the frames that I wear just to kind of stop myself from getting like those like middle of your um, forehead headaches which I tend to get if I've been looking at the screens for too long which happens all the time because that's pretty much all i do so yeah this is my geek chic look um i am having a pretty light day for food today so i am gonna try and do like an at-home workout because i was well i was gonna go for a, a walk but the weather's not amazing today in fact let's check today yeah it's supposed to be raining until three so not great um so yeah i'm gonna find an at-home workout to do today so i was talking to my friend um carol who is regina london here on youtube and instagram and she's been doing the um kiara or sierra um work sierra london or kiara london workouts on instagram um so yeah those <laughs> i looked at the program and it was pretty darn intense however her results and um, that she's got are pretty good so i was either going to check that out or try the chloe ting workouts so i guess comment down below guys and um if you've done either of them let me know um which she found easier i also don't know if the chloe ting workouts are free so i think you have to pay for the kira london ones so that'd be good to know i can do my own research obviously um but if you guys have done either of them then let me know uh, and let me know if you found them to be pretty useful um what else i'm thinking about putting this vlog well i'm gonna put this vlog up today so you guys will probably see it your evening time along with a digital marketing video so do check that out as well um so yeah i think i'm gonna end things here i will probably um on thursday your thursday video is going to be um all about apartment hunting in the uk um so just kind of talking about the process how i found this place etc etc and just to clarify for anybody who thinks 
that I moved here as a as a home purchase no <laughs> I'm still renting my home purchase sort of fell through um when COVID happened and um all of the um banks and lenders took um loads of their mortgage products off the market while things stabilize so I had an agreement in principle which is basically like the bank saying hey we agree to you know lend you this money in principle providing everything checks out but then they took that product off the market and the place that I was kind of going after um was yeah and then a cash buyer came along and said hey look while things aren't stabilizing we're gonna sell to these guys who have the cash ready to go so that all fell through so I'm renting this place until I don't know I guess things kind of calm down I'm signed on for a year um so we'll see what happens but I guess it's good it gives me more time to save more money so I can look at you know maybe like two bedroom properties um or more so yeah I yeah I'll talk about the process of finding an apartment to rent in the UK um where I looked um some of my specifications advice etc so if you guys want to move or um, if you've got a tenancy agreement that's coming up to the end then I'll give you my thoughts otherwise thank you so much for watching um welcome to all my new subscribers um thank you for uh joining me along this journey i'm going to be doing a lot more at home vlogs because i am pretty much working from home until like the end of the year so every week i think i'll probably do um i don't know like a, a vlog kind of week in the life type content so if you would like to see that let me know um, especially now I'm trying to trim down, get this quarantine body in check <laughs> and pretty much, yeah, just operate from a new space. So thanks for watching and I'll see you guys on Thursday. Bye.